Good afternoon, everybody, and thanks for clicking on 5 News Web News. It is Tuesday, February 19th. I'm Brittany Hoke. And I'm Matt Heckel, and here are some of the top stories we've been following today on 5 News. The man convicted in the death of an officer with the Mon County Sheriff's Department one year ago yesterday learned his sentence this morning. That's right. That sentencing took place in a Greene County, Pennsylvania courtroom this morning. Jared Green was sentenced to 25 to 50 years in prison for a third-degree murder charge in the death of Sergeant Michael Todd May. Last year, 41-year-old May was killed when a DUI suspect later identified as Green intentionally rammed his cruiser into his car. Now, we're going to have a lot more on this story tonight on First at Five. Well, we're learning about possible motives for the shooter in the Sandy Hook Elementary massacre. CBS News has learned that 20-year-old Adam Lanza compared himself to Anders Breivik, the Norwegian man who killed 77 people in July of 2011. Sources tell CBS that Lanza wanted to top that death toll. Investigators say Lanza picked the Sandy Hook school because it was an easy target with a large number of potential victims. And sheriff's deputies in Marion County are looking for whoever was responsible for an auto pedestrian accident that ended with a man having to be flown to the hospital yesterday. Now we're told that it happened on Marion Hess School Road. That's in Worthington at around 630 last night. We do know that the victim is in his 60s, but there's no word on the extent of his injuries. The Marion County Sheriff's Department is investigating and said that they're looking for a white Jeep Cherokee. Meanwhile, two people had to be taken to the hospital after an accident this weekend. We're still working to get their conditions. It happened Sunday afternoon on Freedom Highway near Worthington. 911 officials told us that only one vehicle was involved. HealthNet had to be called in but was not able to fly because of the bad weather. So both people were taken to Ruby by an ambulance. The Marion County Sheriff's Department is handling that investigation. Well, an investigation is underway into what sparked a fire that destroyed a Harrison County home last night. That started right around 8 o'clock on Rockwell Lane and Enterprise. Neighbors say they saw flames shooting into the air when it first broke out. Crews as far away as Bridgeport came to fight the blaze. Our reporter on the scene said the house sits on a narrow road, making it difficult for crews to get back and forth to the scene from a nearby fire hydrant. No word yet from authorities on what started the blaze. And three people had to go to the hospital after an early morning apartment fire in Morgantown yesterday. That fire broke out just before 6 o'clock yesterday morning at an apartment building on Brockway Avenue. Seven people live in that complex who all got out just fine, but three people who were taken to the hospital are expected to be okay. One person who lives there was also arrested while firefighters tried to put out those flames. 23-year-old Derek Blankenship was charged with public intoxication, disorderly conduct, and obstructing an officer. Morgantown Fire Chief Mark Caravasas said that the fire is not suspicious, but he estimated that it caused about $125,000 in damage. He also mentioned that the building hasn't been ruled a total loss, but has been condemned. Because some of those residents were WVU students, the Office of Student Affairs is working with them to find them new housing. An investigation is underway to find the cause of that fire. And yesterday afternoon, another fire in Morgantown, this time at a home on Montrose Avenue just before 5 o'clock. We're told that a woman and a one-year-old baby and her pets were able to make it out safely. Crews were able to get the flames out in about 10 minutes after they got there. It started in a front office room and the blaze was contained mostly to that area. We're told that there was heavy smoke damage though and an investigation is underway. The fire captain estimated about $60,000 in damage. Well, seven people were arrested after a meth lab bust in Gilmer County Sunday night. State police say troopers were executing a search warrant at a home on Dust Camp Road in the Sand Fork area. The homeowner, Rita Brown, told officers there was a meth lab on the back porch. Police made the five people inside get out so the lab could be de deactivated. They then continued to search the home when they found James Ware and Joshua Cassida hiding. They also found more things used to make meth as well as marijuana, scales and money. All seven people you've seen on your screen were arrested on charges of operating a clandestine lab. And before we move on with the rest of uh, our web news here, let's take a look at what our newsroom is working on for tonight. First up, we're going to have more on the sentencing of Jared Green this morning in a Pennsylvania courtroom. Plus, the number of cases of the flu is declining in our area. That's good news. We're going to take a look at why. And Chief Meteorologist Ken Meehan will have a look at your first alert forecast coming up tonight on First to Five and Five News at Six. And be sure to tune in to those shows tonight. And until then, have a great day, everybody.